welcome to today's Talk of the Town. We've got a great show ahead for you, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. After 13 years on the Beaufort County Council, Weston Newton is running for the new House of Representatives 120 seat. He joins us today to speak about his goals for the position and what winning this seat may accomplish for our community. Chairman Newton, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate the opportunity Absolutely. to be here. Absolutely. So it's the new seat, 120. It is the new seat. As a result of the 2010 census, Bill Herb Kurzman, uh, House District 118, had to be essentially split in half. Um, so this is a brand new seat for uh, the Low Country. It is a, a seat, a district that is consists of both Beaufort County and uh, portions of Jasper County as well. Okay. So. 13 years on Beaufort County Council and the last 10 years as chairman. Why are you seeking to run for the new House of Representatives District 120 seat? Great question. And, and Sandy, after um, I'm a South Carolina native um, and given the uh, tenure that I've had on County Council, I am particularly frustrated with the place that the low country holds in the state uh, and the state in the nation. Um, I think that the uh, additional house seat gives us great opportunity in the Low Country, um, and I know that based on my tenure as uh, chairman of county council, there's no other candidate in this race that has the depth of understanding of our local needs or has worked as hard to address those needs. I've got three young children, 11, 9, and 6, and the future of uh, the Low Country of South Carolina is critically important to me. I want them to have the same experiences I did as a child, playing on the sandbars, enjoying our clean water, eating crabs, but I also want them to have job opportunities to come back here when they finish school. Yeah, very important. You're absolutely right. What in your view makes you the most qualified candidate to serve your district in the South Carolina House of Representatives? A combination of things, probably not the least of which is my tenure on county council. I've got a track record of building consensus and I've got a track record of producing results. Um, critically important uh, to this area is the protection of our natural resources and I have demonstrated uh, consistent leadership in that regard and delivering results for our uh, the citizens of Beaufort County. But it's also my ability to work um, within the, the uh, confines or the context of the um, representative from various uh, segments of our community. We've got a great diversity in, in Beaufort County and yet uh, despite the, the context of that diversity, we've accomplished a great amount. Um, that same diversity or dichotomy exists at the state level, whether it's the PD and the upstate, uh, the foothills and the mountains, uh, the rural and the suburban areas. Um, we've got the exact same dichotomy here in Beaufort County. You know, one of the things that I'm probably most proud of on County Council is the development of the consensus infrastructure plan that keeps me and my family safe and you and your family safe on our roadways, but also the pursuit and repatriation of over $70 million that Beaufort County citizens sent to Washington and sent to Columbia that historically we have not gotten back here for the widening of 278, for Highway 170, for the Bluffton Parkway. Um, it is critically important that we have someone join our delegation who has the experience of local government that understands the impacts to our local community. Um, I'm a local businessman, so I understand what it means to turn the key in the lock every morning uh, and to work to make sure that my 11 or 12 employees uh, get a paycheck on Friday. I know what it means to sweat Thursday's mail, right. uh, as it said, to make sure that the, that the revenues are coming in uh, to pay those employees. So I believe that um, of the three candidates in the race, I am the one that is most qualified um, and the one that is best suited to raise the level of the voice of the people of the Low Country. What about your, uh, what, do you, what do you feel were your most lasting accomplishments over the last years? C clearly the, the, the work that I did with regard to our improving our infrastructure and our roadways and the return of the $70 million. Um, also, I led um, the effort to create the present structure of our Rural and Critical Lands Preservation Program. Uh, which led to the passage by a wide margin of the $50 million land referendum. And through the land referendum and partnerships with the Department of Agriculture, we protected farmland. Through partnerships, in fact, the first in the nation with the Department of the Navy, we protected our air bases. So at the same time we're protecting jobs, we're protecting the quality of life in Beaufort County. But also the stormwater uh, control ordinance that I led in fact, introduced and led the passage of the stormwater ordinance, 
which protects our waterways, uh, which protects our property values, and protects our jobs because uh, people want to come here because we are clean and green. We do have good clean right. water and they want to come stay in our hotels, eat in our restaurants, shop in our shops, and spend money here. So I, I believe that, in retrospect, um, the three things uh, that, I'm, that I'm most proud of on, on County Council uh, would be the, the road infrastructure and funding, uh, the land preservation, um, and the protection of our waterways. Also very important. What do you think about, it is about your background, your personality that motivates you towards public service? You know, it, when I first uh, finished uh, law school, my, one of the first bosses I ever had is one of the justices on the state Supreme Court. Um, and he told me that um, as an educated um, South Carolinian who was educated by the people of the state of South Carolina, that I had a responsibility to offer back to give to public service. Um, that's been a motivating uh, theme for me. Uh, we all have a responsibility in an organized society to participate, whether it's PTA, whether it's Little League Coach, whether it's voting, or whether at this time in my life it's offering for, for public service. I want to make a difference for me, I want to make a difference for you, for our community, uh, and especially for the next generation, my children and their children. So people want to read more about you, know more about you, they get a hold of you via the website which we have on the screen. They do, and in addition, you know, as chairman of county council for the last 10 years, um, my constituent service is probably unmatched. I have an open door policy at my law firm, and my telephone number is published. I take all calls. I don't have them screened, um, and so I welcome the opportunity to talk to folks as I have for the last 10 years beyond this district of the entire county about uh, issues in the campaign, but about issues as, uh, that's going on in the county as well. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, and we wish you luck. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.